Okay, this is problem 22, page 826. It says a coin is flipped and then a number from one through four is selected at random from a bag. And we've got several things we're supposed to do. First thing we're supposed to do is construct a tree diagram showing all the possible outcomes. All right, so a tree diagram starts from a root and has several branches, hence the name tree diagram. The two things we're doing in this case are flipping a coin and then selecting a number. So the the first option gives you two paths to follow down. You can either flip and get heads or flip and get tails. Then no matter which you end up getting on the flip, you're then going to draw out a number from a hat. And so in each case you have four options there. If you draw if you flip heads, you could then draw a one, two, three, or four. And if you flip tails, you could then draw a one, two, three, or four. And so that demonstrates a tree diagram. They're not too difficult. The number of ending points here, or the number of leaves on our tree, indicate the number of items in the sample space, which is part B, list out the sample space. It's usually indicated with a capital S. And so there are eight items in the sample space. You could flip heads and then get a one. You could flip heads and then get a two, etc. Until you can get tails one, tails two, on out to the end, tails four. So there's our tree diagram. This is the sample space. And then we can use those two things to help in part C, which is to determine the probability that a head is flipped and an odd number is selected. So in part C, we want to know probability of head and odd number. It's really easy if you look at the sample space. First of all, how many items are in the sample space? Eight, so that's the denominator. And how many of them meet the conditions that are required that you get a head and have an odd number? And two of them. Heads followed by one and heads followed by three. So two out of the eight meet that requirement. And whenever you're dealing with fractions, you should always reduce your fractions as much as possible. So two eighths becomes one fourth. Lastly, part D, what's the probability that a head is flipped or an odd number is selected? So probability of head or odd number. Again, there are eight possible outcomes. How many of them meet the requirements? Either have head or an odd number. So the first four all have heads. And then we also get T1 and T3 that have an odd. So six of them meet the requirements. That reduces to 3 over 4. That's the probability that you will get heads or odd.